He is considered one of the most at-risk congressmen in the entire country. And longtime North Shore Democrat John Tierney is facing more than just a tough Republican challenger in the fall. John Keller was there as Tierney took heat today from his Democratic rivals in their final pre-primary debate. Congressman Tierney! Outside the hall, signs of peaceful coexistence. I think he's living in fantasy land. Inside, a sign of these angry times, as Democratic challengers zeroed in on what they view as a very vulnerable incumbent. We have 11 representatives from the state of Massachusetts in Washington. Not a single is a combat veteran. I think we can do better. John, you don't get to be as furious as the rest of us because you've been collecting a taxpayer salary for the last 17 years while the rest of us have been hurting out here on Main Street. Tierney visibly reddened at times but managed a few sharp elbows of his own. As Democrats, you know, if we put our personal ambitions aside for a second and talk about what the problem is. The problem is John Boehner and his far-right Republicans can't get issues to the floor to even get other de Republicans to vote for them. But that didn't fly with Tierney's younger challengers, who made it clear they think it's time for the longtime congressman to step aside. I believe setting personal ambition aside will get us better leadership in Congress. If you have a problem with personal ambition, then maybe you should retire. But sniping aside, this may have been the debate's most telling moment. Is the middle class of the 6th Congressional District better off today than it was two years ago? Just a yes or no answer. We'll start with you, Mr. Thank Franco. You. No. 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 <laughs> yes or no? You know, you're not going to get it, yes or no, Jeff. Mean, well, the fact is, times have been tough for many in the North Shore-based district Tierney represents. And in a year when dissatisfaction with Congress has reached an all-time high, Tierney's challengers are stoking a fire that was already smoldering. By the way, attorney John Devine and engineer John Gutta are also on the September 9th primary ballot. And Jack and Paula, John Tierney has, uh, uh, he has a haul on his hands, let's put it that way. And you loved every minute of it. No comment. <laughs> John Thank you, Keller. John. Thanks so much. Well, hot in that room, but it's been pretty cool outside.